Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. When the value of fixed assets decline, that is called depreciation. We will now look at tracking depreciation for our fixed assets. There are many ways to track depreciation, and this is just one suggested method. If you're currently tracking your asset depreciation in other ways, you can rest assured that you can continue using your own method. Fixed assets are not for immediate sale, but they do have a value, and since they last for a long time, you don't completely charge or expense their purchase price to the year in which you purchase them. Instead, you spread their cost out over several years, which is called the asset's useful life. But because fixed assets wear out or become obsolete, like computers, their value declines constantly from the day you purchase them. The amount of this decline is called depreciation. So when you refer to the value of a fixed asset at any point, it's really only an estimate. To determine the estimated value of a fixed asset at any point in time, you need to subtract its accumulated depreciation, which would be the total amount of depreciation since the asset's purchase, from its original purchase cost. To set up an accumulated depreciation account in Peachtree, you'll need to use the Maintain Chart of Accounts window. You can do this by selecting Maintain from the menu bar, and then choosing the Chart of Accounts command. Now you would start by typing in an ID number for the accumulated depreciation account that you want to create to track the amount of depreciation for your fixed asset into the Account ID field. Then type a description for the account into the Description field and make sure that it clearly references the Fixed Asset account for which it will track the accumulated depreciation. Finally, make the account type Accumulated Depreciation by using the Account Type drop-down. At this point, you'll just click the Save button in the toolbar at the top of the window to save the account. When you need to enter the amount of depreciation for the fixed asset, you can create a general journal entry that will consist of two rows. In the first row, you're going to place the depreciation expense account. And for the fixed asset, you'll place the amount of depreciation as a debit to the expenses, increasing the amount of depreciation expense. In the next row, you'll put in the credit column the accumulated depreciation account. Once you're finished, simply click Save to then update the general ledger. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.